Hello everybody. Today I'm going to talk about value versus price and how the price of things might get in the way of the value that you might receive from things. And at the end of the video I can't wait to share some good news with you. The other day I was having breakfast. Nothing fancy or expensive I caught myself thinking. A few slices of bread, two hard boiled eggs, some avocados and I put some flower seeds on the top of it and I decorated it with a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper. In a nutshell, the price of my breakfast could not be more than $5 in total. I thought to myself, well, it was a cheap breakfast. But that second, something zapped in my mind. I felt an overwhelming wave of ungrateful sensations. Was I only grateful for having a cheap breakfast? Have I, or we as the society, been conditioned to give value to things by their price tag and override the actual value that they have, which is hidden and gone by unannounced? I had to sit with myself for a while and think. I thought about the cost of time and the minerals and the nutrients that the earth so abundantly and generously supplied for the olive trees for the sunflowers and the veggies to grow. The sun sharing its light day in and day out so the plants could flourish. The journey of a chicken, cracking from an egg to its adulthood in a farm. I had bought a humanely raised label egg, if that means anything, and giving its eggs to a commercial world every day. The journey of a little widget sprouts, despite their delicate nature, still pushing through the dark soil to reach the sunlight. The salt cracking from its rock form and finding itself in a salt shaker after a journey that nobody knows but itself. And what about the labor of fellow humans, seeding, cultivating, harvesting, processing, transporting, supplying and selling all these so I can find them on my very breakfast plate. Casting all of this aside, I was just grateful because I had a cheap breakfast. God forgive me. Most of the time, the price of things gets in the way of the real value that you receive from those things. From the point of a product, let's shift to a point of a service. What is the value of a service? I had a hard time pricing the services that I give because it's very relative. Most people say you price your time. But that's a bigger blunder, isn't it? How am I going to put a price tag on my time? That's putting a price tag on your life. If someone makes $1 an hour, is their life worth roughly $700,000, assuming that they die at the age of 80? You might think a dollar an hour is a joke, but most people make less than a dollar a day in especially underdeveloped countries. If you want to do the math, it prices a person's life at less than $30,000, which is probably cheaper than your car. So then, how do I value what I serve? Here comes the subject of trust though. This will sound maybe a little naive, maybe oblivious, but trust really has nothing to do with others. You trust yourself, and that is a whole, an entirety within itself. The actual value of my service to you is how much you are willing to, or how much you can pay, to get rid of a problem that you currently experience. For example, let's consider and compare a top CEO making 8 figures and a minimum wage worker both having an excruciating pain, physical or emotional suffering, which impedes on their daily life and productivity. The CEO will pay whatever it takes to get rid of his or her pain, whereas the minimum wage worker has to live and endure the same pain because there is simply no budget to pay for help. 
So what do I do to make sure that I am living and serving with integrity without having to differentiate or prioritize people's suffering depending on what they can or cannot pay, but also without jeopardizing my own livelihood? Well, the answer is trust again. I am choosing to trust that my network of people is very diverse and that people who can pay will pay and those who cannot pay don't have to pay. So I am starting this program which actually organically started itself. I had a few clients who paid way more than my asking price for our sessions, which made it possible for me to offer sessions at a really low price for those who need it and could not afford it. Normally, some people can lash out or some people can feel threatened to hear that I charge $150 for a 90-minute session. And $150 could be considered a random number from many perspectives. But does it include my tens of thousands of hours of studying and working to get the experience that I have now or me spending hundreds of thousands of dollars to be able to be the person to serve you the best possible way for the 90 minutes that we spend together? There is also something to think about. So what I am inspired to do now is to add the extra income that I receive from my sessions so I am able to offer sessions at a really low price. I am charging something because there is value in paying for a service that you receive but not struggling to pay especially during these times. And all of these are trust based as I will not ask you about your financial situation when you are signing up for sessions. I am offering a bundle of six sessions for starting from $10 a session. I offer this in bundles because you need the commitment as adhering to practice is the only way you will receive the help you need. Unfortunately, there is no magic pill here. And you should be able to do the practices that we come up together during the sessions. Starting from $10 a session, you can decide how much you can pay for your own package as you are the only person who truly knows the situation that you are in and I trust that you are in charge of your own experience at all times. As for those who are not struggling with finances, please contact me to be an enabler in my program or if you want to pay for other family members or friends of yours at a discounted price. I am also very happy to be able to offer free sessions, but you still have to commit to at least four sessions. Although this offer is valid for everyone, I would encourage those who have lost their jobs to reach for these. Please contact me for any detail and let's serve the best we can. Thank you so much for your attention. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May your body be at ease. And may you live in peace. Thank you so much for being a part of this.